All right, welcome back to a pipe story brought to you by Pipes and Picking. And today's corn cob I'm reviewing is the, uh, we're talking about is the, uh, the country gentleman. It's got a nice, kind of an oval shaped poker, um, corn cob shank, and then the standard, uh, uh, Missouri Meerschaum stem. And in it, I've got some Presbyterian. I'm sure as most of y'all have seen that, uh, Pipes and Cigars was offering a, uh, deal on it and I loaded up with about three tens of it and opened up two and cellared one and I really like Presbyterian it's it's not your regular go-to English um, I like the story behind it it's an old blend um, developed right around right before World War One or right around World War One And I just really like it. It's a good, uh, smooth, real smooth, real creamy smoke. Uh, real tangy, real kind of a, uh, it's not like as heavy as incense smell, but it's got a lot of some of those exotic, wild kind of flavors to it. Um, it does have that Latakia, it does have a nice little smoky taste. And, um, Apparently, there is a conversation going on in pipe community about whether or not uh, Presbyterian has Latakia. And <laughs> while I'm no expert in the matter, it, it's got Latakia. Yeah. Anyway, I really like the Missouri Meerschaum, uh, the country gentleman. Uh, I like the shape. It is a uh, it is a sitter, but even with the tobacco in it, it still falls over. So you do need like a, a pipe rest or something like that to uh, if you want to set it down. But they're really cool. Uh, smokes really. A, a dry smoke in that it's not real wet. The, I don't get a lot of moisture. And again, I'm a pretty wet smoker. But um, I really like them. I really like them. I like the way they feel. Uh, and even with the balance a little off where it doesn't really sit, I do like the way they feel. I like the way, you know, I like the way they hang out of the mouth. They're good pipes. Oh, they're good pipes, and uh, I really like this pipe a lot. I've got a really cool memory with this pipe. My uh, when my first record hit as a as a songwriter, I gave my first interview in the paper while, while I was smoking this pipe. Now, that's not as cool as it sounds. Uh, my best friend in this world, I've known her since we were three years old. She's the, she was the editor of the paper, and so it wasn't like it was some hardcore Rolling Stone interview or something like that, but it was still pretty cool. Uh, and I talked a lot about, in that interview, about not being, never being too old to follow a dream. And I thought my, I thought my dreams of being a songwriter were over, and Lord had something else in mind on that, and so you're never really too old to go after the things you like, and uh, never too late to to start on a dream. And so I talked about that in my in that interview while I was smoking this pipe, and uh, I don't know, it's just what reminds me when I smoke this pipe. Huh. It's a pretty good thing to think about when you're smoking a pipe, you know. So anyway, um, I found out a little something, too, uh, this morning. I, uh, in addition to the Presbyterian that I ordered, I ordered a uh, Navy Flake, which is 
so good. Uh, McBerry Navy Flake and Escudo Navy. Um, I hadn't cracked the Escudo yet. But um, I was looking at it, again, kind of being the blend nerd and the, spike, the, the tobacco nerd. I wanted to know what made up a Navy Flake. You know, what if you call something Navy, what does that mean? Uh, because the descriptions were so different. They were talking about different tobaccos uh, that went in there. And they, uh, I went on tobacco reviews and uh, the taste and the, nut, the things they were saying were vastly different between the two comparisons, between the two tobaccos. And, you know, if you're talking about that something that that's diff that different in pipe tobacco blends, but calling it the same thing, well, what's the common thread? Well, I found out this morning that uh, to be called a navy or a navy flake or um, something like that, it has to be twisted and then pressed. Um, and that's what makes a navy flake. So you be you twist the you twist the tobacco up, press it, then you cut it into slices or coins or something like that. I didn't know that. Thought I'd pass on a little interesting pipe tidbit. Apparently, it has something to do with the way uh, sailors back in the old days would uh, store their tobacco or make their tobacco blends on ships or um, pre prepare it in order to before they went on a on a voyage. I didn't know that. I'm sure most of y'all probably did, and I'm probably just late to the game on it, but anyway. Just thought I'd pass that on to you and kind of show you, keep up the uh, corn cob. Yeah, as you can see, too, it's got that black stain. I don't know if it shows up too well on the camera, but it's just really sharp-looking um, sharp looking pipe. It, it doesn't have that. And there's nothing wrong with this, but it doesn't have that Daniel Boone, Davy Crockett kind of, I picked a corn cob off, shut the kernels off, crammed a stem in it and got a pipe nothing wrong with that but this just looks a little uh looks a little nicer i think looks like something mark twain or somebody would smoke and he did smoke missouri missions so wanted to talk about that show you all that pipe talk about the memory associated with it and also my new little pipe info i, I, I picked up this morning so anyway hope you all have a good day Y'all keep on piping, y'all keep on picking, and we'll see y'all later. Take care.